So the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, or the MBTI uh, for short, was developed by a mother and daughter team. Isabel Myers and Catherine Briggs actually developed what is now known as the MBTI. And they developed it based on Carl Jung's book of psychological types. And what the book looked at is how people are born with innate preferences. So these are psychological preferences that don't change over time, but just are, are preferences we have on how we perceive the world and how we make decisions. The test, the purpose of it, is all about self-awareness. Um, it's to show or to highlight uh, aspects of your personality, of preferences that you have. The MBTI is broken down into four dichotomies. Uh, the first dichotomy is introversion and extroversion. So this is all about how you get your energy. A person that prefers extroversion really gets their energy by being around people. They like to talk things out. People that prefer introversion, they get their energy through quiet reflection. And the second dichotomy is about perception. It's about how we perceive the world. So for example, I could go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, look at a painting with a friend, and what we see in that painting could be completely different initially. So sensing um, people prefer to look at the details. They're very detail-oriented. Um, they like to focus on present realities, what's in front of them. People that prefer intuition really like to think about the meaning behind things. So if they're looking at that painting at the museum, they're wondering what's the story behind it. The third dichotomy is how we make decisions. So uh, thinking, people that prefer thinking, uh, base decisions on logic and analysis. Um, people that prefer feeling base decisions on how it's maybe going to affect others. Um, they tend to be seen as maybe more empathetic. And then the fourth dichotomy is about how we structure or maybe don't structure our external world. So uh, people that prefer judging, uh, they like to-do lists, they like structure. On the other end of, of the spectrum is perceiving. Uh, people that prefer perceiving like spontaneity. They really like to keep things open. I think what's most interesting though is not only knowing what our types are and what our preferences are, but uh, the preferences of others and how uh, knowing that can affect how we work with them or live with them, even looking at Myers-Briggs from a, a personal standpoint as well. So the, the foundation of the MBTI um, is that these are innate preferences. However, there might be a slight change when people have taken it and that could be environmental factors. It doesn't mean just because your type comes up with this four letter type that that's all of who you are and only who you are. It's just showing a different sort of facet or personality of yourself.